I'm Bill Myers. This is my video tip of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to quickly create a great looking video suitable for YouTube and other places from just still photographs using a free program from Microsoft. And the program we're going to use is Photo Story 3 for Windows. It's really easy to use. I'm going to walk you through the whole process right now. First thing you want to do is start Photo Story, and this will be the screen you see, and then select Begin a New Story, and then click Next. And the, the second screen you're going to see is where you import and arrange your pictures. So we're going to import pictures, and you can use anything, any type of picture format. Now, I have a folder of pictures, and I'm just going to select them all. Then I click OK. And notice how quickly it loaded all those photos into my timeline. Now I see some things here that I probably don't want to include in my timeline, so I'll, I'll select those and just press the delete button to remove those. And I can go through my timeline. Let's go back to the front of the timeline here. And you see I've got some photos here that I may not want to use. And maybe I want to start the uh, production with this photo. So I would drag it right there. And if I don't want that one, I can delete that. And if I want to move this photo up here, I can. Basically, you can move your photos around so that they tell the story that you want to tell. And once you have all the photos in, you're going to select Next. And on the next page, you're going to add a title. And you, you have the ability to add a graphic or text to all the photos out there. For example, if on this first one here, if we wanted to say, My Photo Story Video, that would be the title of our video. We can. You can center them. You can uh, change the fonts. We'll change the font on this to something that's a little bit larger. And you notice there's your title right there. You can change the positioning of that title up or down or centered or to the left or to the center, to the right, whatever you want. You can do that for every element, for every photo that you choose. So if you want to put a text or a message on any photo you can just by clicking that photo and adding a text. Now once you've added all the titles that you want you click next and you notice that on this screen you can narrate your pictures and what that means is if you have a microphone connected to your computer you can click this button right here and do a narrative of the photo on the screen and as long as your voice is speaking this photo will show on the screen. You can also change the motion. Now, by default, Photo Story will automatically do zoom and pan transitions with all your photos. But if you want to change the motion, for example, let's go to this photo here. If we want to change the motion that Photo Story is going to do for us, we click the Customize Motion button. We select a start position. Suppose we want to start with a close up of this base. And we want to end with a long shot. And we'd automatically set the duration. If we want to preview what we've done, we just click Preview. And you notice here that it's doing the close up and then it's pull, doing the pullback just like we've told it to do. And if we like that, we just click Save. It saves it for us and then we close the window down. We can do that with each photo. But again, Photo Story will automatically do those transitions for us. We really don't need to do them unless we just feel like we have to do them. And then we click Next. And here's where we select the background music. We can select any music that's on our computer, or we can create music. And by creating music, you select the genre that you want to create. For example, you might want to create New Age, and then you select the style that you want. For example, maybe Smooth Sailing. And then you select the instruments that you want. And then you may want to select the moods of your, of your uh, music. And you can preview it just to hear what it sounds like. And if you don't like that, you can change the uh, format of music. And you do that until you find something you like. In most cases, you're probably going to have music that you already want to use for your background. And in my case, I'm going to use some classical music so I don't get any kind of prop copyright problem with this video. So we're just going to select Beethoven's Ninth. And then once we have the music, if we want to preview our whole production, all we have to do is click Preview. And as you can see, it's doing the transitions for us. And here's the images that we've selected.
I'm not going to run the whole thing, but you can see how something like this would make a great a travel video or a product video or a political video. Again, you can add text and photos and do the transitions the way you want. Now, if you like what you have, you click Next. Then you choose how you want to save this based on where it's going to be displayed. For example, if you're going to save this for YouTube, you take the first option, save your story for playback on your computer, select the file name that you're saving, and then we save the project, and then we click Next to build the story and then mix us the audio. Now that it's completed building our video for us, we can upload this directly to YouTube we can view it on our website. We can send it to others. It is in a WMV video format, which is a great format for YouTube. And we can save the project, which means we can come back and edit it later on, or we can create another one. This is free software. It's Microsoft Photo Story 3 for Windows, and you can download it from the Microsoft site. I'm Bill Myers, and this has been another one of my video tips of the week. To find more like this, visit www.bmyers.com.